Jean-Charles de Cachot-Vajac is an internationally renowned fashion designer and legendary pop artist. Since his debut in the fashion industry in 1968, he has been dressing top celebrities including Lady Gaga and Beyonce and collaborating with other designers in addition to showing his creativity and artistry through installation art and drawing performances. For the World Youth Day in 1997, Castel Vajac was asked to design clothing for the Pope, bishops, and priests, as well as one million youths. In recognition of his meritorious contribution to promoting French design, the French government awarded him with the Legion of Honor. Stay tuned to meet Jean-Charles de Castel Vajac, one of the most experimental visual artists of our time, on today's The Interview. Joining us today is Jean-Charles de castel Bajac, a brilliant designer and artist who's greatly admired by countless celebrities across the world. Let's go inside and meet him now. Thank you so much for joining us today. It's a pleasure to meet you. It's a pleasure. It's a pleasure for me too. Uh, and you say so well my name. Sorry, oh, Jean-Charles, I did learn French Parfait. for five years Parfait. at school, <laughs> so ooh, I'm glad that came across okay. <laughs> <laughs> now you've been to Korea a number of times, I believe. Oui. What's your impression of Korea? The first impression I got in, uh, in 81 was uh, uh, with this uh, Shila Hotel appearing as a symbol of modernity right. and surrounded by a growing up country coming out in in a brand new world. Then I've seen a country who was producing for many other countries mm -hmm. excellent uh, artifacts. I can see that also in, in the way tradition is evolving. You right. know. Uh, I was three days ago to see a, a, a Minyo concert, you know, mm -hmm. which is uh, those uh, popular songs. And, uh, the performer actually was almost playing rap, you know. Right. You know, he, he adapts now his traditional menu mm. to electronic music right. with, a, with a drum, with a slight projection. Mm -hmm. It was so exciting. So it's fascinating that you've seen the transition of Korea from, oui. Oui. you know, from the 80s through to Bien sûr. the modern day. Bien sûr. Well, this year marks the 130th anniversary of the establishment of diplomatic relations between Korea and France. And Korea actually designated 2016 the Year of France and organized a wide variety of cultural events to celebrate. And one such event was a special lecture that you gave recently. We oui, absolutely. And the interview crew went along <coughs> to see what it was about. Jean-Charles de Castelvajac gave a special lecture in Gwangamun, Seoul. He was the Speaker of the Month of April in the French Scholar Lecture Series taking place until December this year. Castel Fajac gave a lecture titled No Copyright on the Rainbow and showed the audience his world of creativity. He explained why he expanded into various fields of art, including installation art, furniture design, and architecture, after debuting as a fashion designer and shared his philosophy on art. 기발한 발상에 독특한 특별한 예술을 오늘 접하고 기쁘게 생각합니다. 제 옷에 이렇게 작품을 그려줬어요. 작가가 요새 이 시, 지금 세대 필요한 저 아이디어를 
30년 전에 했다는 자체가 선구자인 것 같아요. 역사를 알고 뭐 겸손하라 뭐 등등의 그런 게 정말 우리한테 꼭 필요한 말들 같아서 오늘 정말 행복했습니다. So the lecture was titled No Copyright on the Rainbow. Yes. It's a very interesting title. Can you tell us what it's about? Uh, you know, I, I had uh, some climax in my life, uh, my professional life and spiritual life. One of them was to be chosen to dress the Pope, mm -hmm. John Paul II. Yeah. And uh, it never happened before and never happened after because it was just linked to a friendship between John Paul II and Monseigneur Lustiger, who was the Bishop of Paris. Mm -hmm. And when they asked me to do a concept for 5,000 priests, 500 bishops, one million of kids who was coming to see the Pope, I had just one idea. Mm -hmm. I, I never, when I have a big project, yeah. the idea generally came into my sleep. Oh, really? My night. During your dreams. And uh, uh, this night, after the, 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 the bishop asked me what was the con concept, I dreamed of a huge rainbow. Okay. And uh, uh, in the Evangile, in, in the Bible, the rainbow is about peace mm. because it's after the flood. And uh, God says to Noah, till the, this flag will be in the sky there would be peace between God and the, and the human. So I went at five in the morning to see Monseigneur Lestiger mm. because uh, it was the time of reunion, very early, after a little mass. And uh, I show him my sketches. My sketches was one pope with stars of color on his outfit, f five bishop, one with, no, five, uh, yes, with a rainbow, mm -hmm. and then priest with a stripe of color. Okay. And he told me, actually, there is no copyright on the rainbow. Ah, so and, that's where uh, the title that's, came from. And I find in this world, in this time, uh, mm. where everything is copyright, actually, mm. you know, when I start to do Snoopy on my sweaters in the 80s, right. there is no copyright or Mickey Mouse or whatever. But actually on that, there is no copyright. Um, and also in commemoration of the 130th anniversary of Korea-France ties, oui. um, a piece of your installation artwork was placed on the statue of King Sejong the Great oui. in Gwangamun. You know, I, I, when, I, when I go to a country, mm. the first things that touch me is his own history. Right. And when I came in, in the 80s, I was amazed by two historical fig figures. Uh, Admiral In Sun Ching, mm -hmm. because uh, I find such a not just strong but ingenious man, and uh, his life was like this up and down, but always courageous. And uh, King Sejong, mm. and um, uh, I had always this uh, project to crystallize King who have done, or, or human being, or normal people, who have done something very important right. for their people. And so with uh, King Sejong, he created the Korean alphabet, Hangul. Absolutely, Hangu. absolutely. And I heard that for your installation piece, you created your own symbols to go on the upper corners absolutely. of your cube-shaped frame. What did those mean? Because it's also, you know, about to say to young generation that because young generation, because I have two sons too, and uh, they are sons of, of uh, Obi-Wan Kenobi and, uh, mm. and the Jedi and things like that. It's also about to tell them that those Jedi, they have fathers in before, right. real, not just virtual. And uh, those figures are very important as a reference. So I put at the four corner, four com symbol who seems to me very important. Mm -hmm. One it was the eyes with a crown. Okay. And it means that you always have to be curious and the eyes open, looking to other people, what other people are doing, you know. This uh, awareness and curiosity is very. Mm -hmm. Then you have a hand with a crown. And it means you have to do, you know. It's not just to, to make do, but you have to entreprendre, entreprendre, mm -hmm. because your life depends on, on, on that. Right. And there is a, a, a wing, but that's the last one. Mm -hmm. 
keep always in your mind your dream and, and, and okay, a kind of a form of a utopia somewhere. Well, you explained it very well for us, but for the benefit of our viewers, the interview crew went to Kwang Amun to take a closer look wow. at the piece. I'm so happy about that. In late March, a lighting ceremony was held for the King of Science, an installation artwork by Castle Vajak that was placed around the statue of King Sejong in Kwang Amun, Seoul. Passers by to gather cameras and smartphones to capture the statue of King Sejong with a new installation art. I took a photo of King Sejong because he was the creator of the Korean language. Uh, and so I thought that was pretty cool. Um, I've never been to Korea, so for me this is all very new. The creator of the King of Science arrived early and gave directions to the DJ regarding the music for the lighting ceremony. Jean-Marc Erho, the French Minister of Foreign Affairs and International Development, and Castel Vajac commenced a lighting ceremony in front of a huge crowd. Afin de cristalliser cette amitié qui dure depuis 130 ans entre la France et la Corée. The crowd erupted with cheers as soon as the neon lighting on the golden frame was turned on. The four signs on the upper corner show an eye, a heart shape, a hand, and a wing, which represent curiosity and knowledge, compassion and love for humanity, creativity and imagination, respectively. It is, uh, this project is really has been very emotional for me, mm -hmm. you know, because uh, it's also about uh, to say to Korean people that uh, uh, how we celebrate the strengths of their history. Right. And this is very important. So that's what you're trying to convey that's, with that's, your piece. That's the idea. So you created this cube-shaped golden frame yeah, around the statue yeah. with long neon lights attached yes, to it. Yes. And at night, when the lights are on, it appears really? as though he's levitating. This was, is the was idea. Is that intentional? The idea is uh, to, to take those characters, and particularly this wonderful man, mm. and bring him back into a spaceship. OK. Huh? It's the okay. idea of a, of a, a train teleportation, right. you know, teleportation, and it's so powerful because uh, strangely it's a give this idea of a levitation. Mm. I did this in Paris with our King Henry IV right. on the Pont Neuf and the, the, the feeling was uh, so amazing too. So it's, uh, it's the idea of this contact with the invisibility, mm. you know. I think we are now in a world of uh, so many images, so many things are proposed to us of consuming. But one thing you cannot buy, it's the, the relation you have with invisible. Mm -hmm. huh? This invisible, when you go sometime in, in an old country house or in an old place, and you feel something very mysterious, mm -hmm. you know. And I am a very lucky man because as a fashion designer, uh, I work on, I answer to question, you know. It means the question is, oh, is this shirt is going to be functional? Is, uh, is this pocket deep enough? Mm -hmm. Is this coat warm enough? So being designer, I answer But being artist, I'm there to ask questions. Okay. And to create the blur, mm. to create something we will make you think, what is this? Why did I am touched with this? Right. I don't speak about beauty. I speak about 
mystery. Mm. Well, Jean Charles is best known for his signature style, which incorporates various elements, including pop art, neo-expressionism, punk, and even surrealism. He's widely acclaimed for his brilliance in creating works that are quirky and fun. So we put together some of his most iconic works. Let's take a look. So we had a look at a lot of your artwork, we talked about your installation artwork as well, but you're best known as a fashion designer. What mm. made you pursue fashion design? But I should be, I should be very honest to you, mm. you know, basically I was programmed to be a soldier, you okay. know, because in my family we have been soldier for 1,000 years. Oh, is that so? Yeah, always my ancestors were musketeer and uh, nights, you know, mm. and uh, my, my idea was that, because I think uh, I, I love that kind of a hero. I, it was difficult for me to challenge their fame, because it was not about fame, it was about heroes, you know, to be serving the country. Mm -hmm. Then, uh, fortunately, my parents put me in a boarding school when I was five years old. Okay. And I stayed there for 11 years, and just coming out then? twice a year, you wow. know? And uh, in the morning, well, da, 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 it was, so I have to create some kind of a imaginary, you know? I don't have any teddy bear, I don't have, I just have one treasure. Mm. It was primary color. Okay. Because it was a rainy place, mm. and always rainbow gray. came out, ah. you know? And then when I go to church in the morning, I can see the stained glass, the flag, then it's become my treasure. Mm. And my imagination become like a treasure. I always loved weird things. Okay. Not natural beauty. Mm. As even in, 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 uh, when I look to people, I love, I love their imperfection. I don't love when they try to reach perfection. So step by step, you know, I start to love like a poor material, old canvas mm. with a patch on it, you know, thing. And uh, when I was 17, I went out of boarding school and I start to sing in a rock band. And okay. Being an actor in two or three movies. And uh, I was number one missing one thing in boarding school is girl. Mm. You know, because no girl. In it's a big me. part of life. It's a big, part, <laughs> big part of life. And um, suddenly I was proposed by my mother to design clothes. Okay. And I said, okay, but I will not do clothes uh, who are feminine, mm. but I will do clothes to protect girls, you know. Okay. So I did those big coats in blanket. I did uh, something like uh, if I will be. Uh, a soldier and being protecting. Right, you know? right. And it becomes successful immediately, okay. unfortunately. <laughs> what do you mean, unfortunately? <laughs> <laughs> because I was not thinking it would be my career. And after that, I start to love that work because I can really use it as a kind of a territory to set so many stories. Mm. And uh, if I look to my career, I can tell a story for each close, you know. Okay, so you love to create. That's the point. Right. Because I love also to blow the barrier between, mm. between medium, you know, because I've been writing, I've been, but fashion is a beautiful territory okay. because it is a, 
very intimate, you know, the way it touch people. Mm. And it sounds like you get your inspiration from a lot of places, whether it be an old canvas well, that you mentioned. Where do you feel like you get your inspiration these days? But honestly, I am always looking for the next project, mm. you know. I have no melancholia, no, now there is this big exhibition coming about my past work, but I'm always concerned about new art, new technology, uh, new movement, new music, and uh, I love your country for that, huh? because uh, there is some very punk rock band, an mm -hmm. electro band, and a young designer, so my inspiration is about uh, into accident, I will say, okay. you know. I have a strange process of, uh, of aesthetic uh, building. I always put together things who are not compatible. Right, you know? seemingly. Voilà. Mm. Uh, and this is, uh, it's perfect in, in Korea, accident, you know, because sometimes you see most in institutional things meeting the most uh, modern things, mm. I would say. I want to ask, because one of your most outrageous outfits for me was when you dressed Lady Gaga in her coat covered with Kermit the Frog. Oh, yeah. It received quite a mixed reaction. What oh. was your <laughs> thinking But you know, but uh, Gaga is uh, uh, one of a long lineage, because I start with Farrah Fawcett, with Isabella Gianni, then I work I work with uh, Jay-Z, with LL Cool G and mm -hmm. Kanye, but Gaga is special because she, she revendicates uh, the status of not to be a normal beauty. Mm -hmm. And I've loved that, yeah. you know. Because before Gaga, there is a before Gaga and an after Gaga. The status to be kind of a strange, you know, was not... Uh, then we have Bess Dito, who also wear a character like that. And uh, she told me, can you do me a code particular, mm. you know? I want people to catch my spirit. And I have in mind to do this uh, Kermit code since a long time. Right. I used to do teddy bear codes, you okay. know, before. I always loved accumulation. Mm. I always, because maybe it's the fact when you have nothing when you're a kid, you you can bring all the things together mm. and do one, you know. You've also collaborated with artists such as the late Keith Haring and Jean-Michel oui. Basquiat. Oui. How did your interactions with them impact you or your designs? You know, uh, uh, mainly I don't like to work alone, mm. you know. All my projects, they are turned to uh, uh, collaboration, doing things together, with a young artist or artist of my generation. I always uh, remember when I was 18 years old, mm. a movie director, Antonioni, was in Paris. I cannot meet Antonioni, you know, he was a legend. Mm -hmm. So I went to his hotel and I give a little money to the guy who bring the breakfast to mm -hmm. Antonioni. And with my black leather jacket, I bring the breakfast to Antonioni. <laughs> <laughs> and I said to Antonioni, I said, he said, he said uh, what, they are strange, those, uh, those breakfast delivery guys. <laughs> <laughs> and I always want to meet uh, the people that I was dreaming to work with. Right. And so Jean-Michel Basquiat and so Robert Mapplethorpe and so Keith Haring, mm. I always imagine that we can do things together, you right. know? And now it will be f with a young generation of people. And uh, I also lost a lot of my friend because mm. this gen generation, uh, many people disappear. Indeed. But uh, I carry their souvenir and their energy, mm. and, you know? That's the idea. The idea is uh, in life, uh, because now we are in a society, I was telling to the, in the lecture, that everybody thinks that he has so many friends, yeah. but nobody is cultivating friendship. Indeed, you know, indeed. The terminology of friend is like a quantity. Oh, I have 5,000 friends on Facebook, mm. but uh, sometimes five is enough, you know. Indeed. Five quality <laughs> friends. Yeah, that's the idea. Okay. And 
uh, and who's next on your list? Do you still seek uh, other people or do people come to you? People come to me quite mm. often, you know, to, to, to do collaboration and to do things. But, for example, uh, uh, in your country, in, in Korea today, I dreamed to do a project with an architect called G1 Beck. Okay. And uh, Beck G1 is uh, working, is my friend, is working on container and on a very social project, you know, of architecture, mm. affordable architecture, okay. but with beautiful aesthetic. Then there is my friend CL. Uh, she, she's a wonderful performer and mm. she has this kind of a free spirit and things like that. Because it's a discovery. Yeah. It can be, it's like uh, falling in love. I fall in love every day or every month about mm. something who make me feel that maybe I can do, participate to change the world, I okay. suppose. Okay. This is the idea. It's about uh, uh, transmitting and also passing things, you know. Mm. Because many young uh, people are abandoned on the side of the, of the, of the road, you know, mm. because they have not adapted to maybe to the brand new world. Right. And also, uh, I can see many, it's like in France, in Korea, many young people want to be artists, but to please their parents, mm. they don't be artists, because they think their parents will be sad. And uh, in this room the other day, mm. I had uh, like uh, 200 kids, you know, of 30 years old. I said kids a little bit older than kids. Mm -hmm. And I tell them, at one moment, maybe you should say to yourself, where is my talent? If my former job is not working, go dig your talent. Mm -hmm. Maybe you were a good singer, maybe you play well guitar, maybe you are a good cook, and maybe you are a good drawer. This is where you have to find your second chance, mm -hmm. I think, in life. Okay, an aspiring message to young people. C'est important. All right. When you're designing, what do you consider the most important thing? What makes a good piece of clothing good? The sense. sense. Authenticity. Okay. You know, I start by the sense, you know. When I say the sense, sometimes it's different. Uh, it's like if I see traditional clothes in Korea, you mm -hmm. know, the way, the, the first things I notice is that it's a flat cut, flat cut, mm -hmm. like in my work, you know. It means you can travel and make it tuck, tuck, you can pleat it. Right. When you open, it's so spectacular. Mm -hmm. With occidental clothes, it's not flat cut. So you have the padding, then you have the things here, yeah. you know, you have this, this is not so occidental, you know, no. the color, mm. neither, you know. And so I always look for sense. And uh, things who travel the best into the time, mm -hmm. they are things who have a simple shape. Okay. With a deep ch emotional charge inside it. So this is that. But my process of creation is uh, very simple, you know. I draw, I draw, I draw, I draw, and uh, it's coming. It's coming. Uh, I mean, it must be great to have a mind that can but create it's things also, so easily. Uh, it's also because uh, I practice. Mm. Huh? Okay. I think that's the base. Okay. You've also been quoted as saying that you wish to comfort the younger generation with your fashion. What place do you think fashion has in today's society? I, more than fashion, I like style, mm. you know. I think uh, you have a good style. Oh, you're thank not, you very much. You're not uh, listening fashion, you know. You have your own style. And I, I will revendicate that for everyone, you know, to try to find your style. Mm. For example, if I see a uh, uh, um, woman who are a little bit too round, huh? if I see them in France, mm. they try to hide. They try to hide that they're wrong. You okay. never hide, you know. So if you go see them in England, mm -hmm. they try to show it. <laughs> <laughs> so they proud. have a, like a tight shirt, le crayon skirt, you mm -hmm. know, and they want, they show. So I think fashion is uh, something who help you, who help you. It's a tool. 
It's a wonderful tool okay. to, to get confident in mm. you. If you try to just be like everyone, and you can also having two sides of you, mm. you know, you can be very discreet and suddenly for a special moment, spectacular. Okay, so be yourself, find be your yourself, own sense yeah. of style. Find your style. Okay. And your style starts by one very precise thing. Choose your color. Okay, okay. Uh, are you a beige family? Mm. Are you bright color? Are you pastel? You know, are you military? Find your color. Okay, okay. So the first step. First step. All right. Jean-Charles has not only shown his brilliance in the world of fashion design, but also in various other fields as well. Let's delve into his world of art and creativity with this next video clip. So you have or have had many job titles including artist, uh, fashion designer and painter as well. Would right. you say painting influences your fashion design and vice versa? But it, I don't see the, 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 the limit. I always was a collector, you mm. know. I always uh, was fascinated by the mystery of painting, you know. Okay. The rhythm of painting, you know, the way the painting was construed. The, 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 first impression, the things uh, I can get through a painting, like a window to invisible world, mm. you know, to another world, or a window to history if I see a painting which is 400 years old. And then uh, I start to paint. And paint is a technique. This is quite magic, because the first thing I see in painting is the mystery of technique. And this mystery of technique, for example, translucidity. If I do, if I draw a character like that, mm. then I put white on it. Then it's a ghost. Right. Simply a ghost. Then I come back with a second face on it. And I recover with white. Then second ghost. Then metaphor of the time passing by is coming in. So it's a very dangerous uh, experiment actually mm. because it gave me the vertigo because sometimes I start a painting and uh, nothing come then something accidental come and then the painting is coming mm. now I'm doing a series of painting about crystallizing paper king you know though those characters are like a cartoon I always have loved you know and uh, I make them like uh, if they are in the legend. And it's, it's interesting. Okay. It's interesting because uh, I don't do it for my living, mm. but it's part of my living, so important, you know. Okay. So you've, you do so many things. Is, we, is there a particular reason you chose to go in so many different directions? Is it no, something you've had to do? You know, I, as an if artist? I be an animal, I will be an octopus, I think. <laughs> You know, I will have eight brain mm. and all these things, you know, and I will be clever like an octopus, I mm -hmm. hope. But it's also a metaphor of proteiformity. Yeah. In my country, this is very bad considered. We call it touche à tout. Huh? Which means? Touch everything. Right. Touch everything. But don't do anything really professionally, ah, something like that. It's like, amateur. It's right. like a professional amateur. Like being a jack of all trades. Uh, yeah. And the maximum compliment is a to chateau de génie, genius to chateau. And uh, it's a way of embracing people, bringing them together, 
this is my challenge mm -hmm. because today, quand même, we have to see where is the world, where where is consuming has bring us, where where the, the idea of a, a, a celebration of ego has bring us. It's about time to recreate what is the fundament, you mm. know. Okay. I mean, you've seen great success in all these different wait, areas. How wait, wait. do you think you managed to find such great success? My, because they all look, this, they all look coherent. Huh? Okay. I am a touche-à-tout, but uh, I have a commune cement, cement mm. which is the color. Right. I use three colors, mm -hmm. you see? Yellow, blue, red. The you primary know? colors. And primary color. Yeah. And uh, I never use pastel, mm. you know. There is no pastel bajac, you know, <laughs> no pastel bajac. So those primary color, if I use them on the chair, you are sit on, if I use them on the jacket, thing, they bring, when I look to my work in 40 years, a kind of co coherence. Mm. And also, I do things uh, uh, who can bring a kind of happiness, I suppose. There is something uh, which is more based on hope in my work, you mm -hmm. know. I'm a kind of apiculture, you know. And uh, sometimes a bit childish, naive. I still believe in the good side of humanity. Okay. Would you have, do you have any words of advice to aspiring young designers? Um, I think uh, 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 what people are critics about you, you have to cultivate it, you know, okay. because, uh, 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 because it's your difference. I don't mean it's uh, absolutely your, your absolute talent, but it's something very revealing. Mm. Also, I believe that many people, they try to put a, a, a cover up on their pain, mm. on their wound, right. on their loneliness, on the things they have not got when they were a child. Mm. I don't believe in that. I think when you have a pain, when you have a wound, you have to put a seed inside mm -hmm. huh? and you have to make it grow. Right. You know? Because I think most of the artists I admire were people who have a hard time when they were young. Mm. They were not loved or they were not rich, or they were not educated, but they have taken the tools of create mm -hmm. as a surviving tool. Right, you know? right. And uh, there's no way to hide what has been, it's a, your, your difficulty has to be your inspiration. Mm. Voila. So to, so to summarize you, I mean, there's nothing you can do about pain that's been inflicted on you, voilà. but you need to embrace that voilà. you and need use to embrace. it to create. And you need really to transform it. Mm -hmm. It's not that I change really inside me, but I become a virus, you know. Okay. I became a pop virus, you know. There's just no way of resisting. Mm. You know, it's a, it's, a, it's a way now of creating, creating, being creative and go inside okay surf on it surf on and it. bring your world into the other world mm -hmm. and what's next for you what are your future plans uh, definitely i have a beautiful uh, project of architecture in france mm -hmm. uh, of affordable house that i want to i want to create village with a big plaza you can stay things like that kind of utopian world mm -hmm. you know Maybe a kind of a... Huh? So it's an exciting moment. Okay. Then I'm going to publish for November my the book about uh, 40 years of creativity. No copyright on the rainbow. Co voilà, the mm -hmm. copyright on the rainbow. Et voilà, so... And I'm sure this year being the year of France, you'll get to achieve wow. a lot of those things. It's been absolutely fascinating talking to you today. I Merci. love the way your mind works and creates, and obviously that shows in all your fashion design and your artwork. Merci. Your questions were wonderful. It's been a pleasure to have you. Thank you once again.